Harry and Meghan reveal Spotify COVID row concerns. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have relayed their concerns to Spotify over COVID misinformation, but will continue to work with the platform. The couple said they were committed to continuing a content deal worth an estimated $25 million and will continue to lobby Spotify bosses for changes. Top artists have pulled songs from the streaming service and protests at its work with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, a U.S. podcast host who has interviewed vaccine septics. Neil Young is among those to cut ties. In a statement, a spokesperson for the Sussex Arkwell Foundation warned of the impact of rampant myths and disinformation. They added, last April, our co-founders began expressing concerns to our partners at Spotify about the all-too-real consequences of COVID-19 misinformation on its platform. We have continued to express our concerns to, to Spotify to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis. We look to Spotify to meet this moment and are committed to continuing our work together as it does. Arkwell Studio, the California-based Sussex's audio production company, lists just one podcast on Spotify, a holiday special published in December 2020. At the time the Spotify deal was unannounced, the couple said their foundation would receive an undisclosed sum. Uh, Young's music is being taken down from Spotify after he reportedly offered it an ultimatum to remove either his work or Joe Rogan's experience podcast, which Spotify owns. Singer Johnny Mitchell announced on Saturday that she would remove her catalog from Spotify and sold solidarity with Young. Following Young's reported concerns, Spotify said it aimed to balance both safety for listen- listeners and freedom for creators and had removed more than 20,000 podcast episode- episodes related to COVID since the start of the pandemic. It acquired the Joe Rogan experience podcast in 2020 reportedly for more than 100 million stand-up comedian rogan 54 has previously attracted controversy for suggesting the young and healthy should not get vaccinated but he wrote back on some of his comments last year saying i'm not an anti-vax person i believe they're safe and encourage many people who take them the bbc has contacted spotify for further comment